It's about 8 o'clock at night, and tomorrow morning I have everyone coming over for brunch. I have about 10 people. Actually, I have about 10 adults and three little ones. So one of the things that I'm going to do as a make-ahead is just a big egg casserole. So what I have in here, and by the way, before I forget to say this, this should come out to about three points per serving. There'll be 12 servings in this 9 by 13 casserole. Now the reason that I say about is that it's a little bit hard to determine the amount of little hash browns in there and also the cheese, which I have yet to determine if I'm putting cheese in there. I think I am, but we'll see. If you do the cheese, which would be about a half a cup of whatever cheese you use, I'm going to use Velveeta but it really so it's kind of generally it's going to come out to about three points on blue could be a little bit less if you don't do cheese so all of that said what we have down here in the pan is one small bag of little square potatoes so those are from the freezer section and what i did was i seasoned those with a little bit of smoked paprika salt pepper and garlic powder, tossed them through, put them on the bottom of the pan, hit them with a little bit of olive oil spray, and I baked them for about 20 minutes. Then I added in two little tomatoes that I cut up and one bag of partially cooked, I just kind of softened it, broccoli, and I broke it up in there. So that's what we have in there right now. And then I have in this bowl that I'm getting ready to mix up six eggs, one half cup of egg whites, salt, pepper, and of course a little garlic powder. And then I have about a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk. So I'm gonna get all that mixed together, pour it over the top, and then I'm gonna make a decision on the cheese. Okay, I've made a decision, no cheese. I just don't like to add cheese sometimes. Velveeta melts really well, but I'm gonna skip it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple different types of cheese out on my table, and if anybody wants to add it to the top, they can. I'm gonna put out a little bit of mozzarella, a little bit of cheddar, and a little bit of Parmesan, and let people have at it. So I'm gonna skip the cheese so that I have something that's an easy go-to for myself to stay on track. Now I'm going to put this in the freezer tonight and then I'll pop it in the oven tomorrow morning and this will probably cook for about 45 minutes.
So, I am working on getting the house cleaned up a little bit. Um, I'm here by myself this morning. My daughter went to work, but I have a lot of people coming over for brunch. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. And I don't have a car. I kind of told you guys that in my videos, the last couple of videos, that I don't have a car because Kevin has a car in Florida and I don't keep an, I don't have a spare car laying around here. So anyway, I, I think I'm in pretty good shape in terms of what I want to make. You guys saw I made that egg casserole last night. So in about an hour, I'm in fact, you know what? I'm going to get that out of the freezer and let it thaw just a bit, but then I'm going to pop it in the oven, get that cooking. But for now, I'm on to my second cup of coffee here and I am going to work on doing a little bit of cleaning. So let's get to that. making biscuits. You see them? Uh, Do they smell good? They smell good. Yeah, look. Come here. Okay. See, look right there. See? So as per usual, people show up early. Grandma isn't ready, but yeah. babies are ready. <laughs> Do you want to go to the P-O-O-L? Strawberry look. Oh, I'm heavy. Look. Oh my gosh. What do you got? A donut. A donut? I think it's a biscuit. A biscuit. And what did you get here? Snoozy. What kind? It's cheese. <laughs> what kind of smoothie? Some strawberry and monkey yogurt. Mm, this is not monkey yogurt. Try again. It's strawberry with yogurt. All right, hold on one sec. Let me get you some butter. Don't get this all over the floor, though. Cause, okay. Okay, because I just vacuumed. Is that hard? It's not hard. It's soft. Can it be? Soft. It's squishy. Yes, it's butter. Okay, go put this in the blue room over there at the table and eat it, okay? Thank you, Thank you love. <laughs> Smells really good. This is why the host always looks a wreck, because sometimes the guests come early, and then the host can't get ready. All right, let's pop this in the oven. Okay, thank 
you. My mom just got here early too. It picks up okay. It doesn't do great, but it does pretty good. It might be full, I was using it earlier. We're almost done. I needed a third coffee. My mom is outside vacuuming. I, I had to put her a little bit to work, you guys understand. Anyway, the only thing that I have left to do right now is French toast, but I'll do that last, and then I'll do some scrambled eggs for the kids, and then I think I'll be in good shape. My mom also brought some of these little mini muffins. I will be staying away from those as well. Oh, and I might do some yogurt parfaits, but we'll see. My sister is coming. Both of my sisters are coming also, and they're bringing something. So I think I'm good. 